Hey everyone, it's Yenna here. I'm a youth minister of the church on a heath and I thought it was about time that I start um, start vlogging. And um, so uh, I just wanted to start off with uh, my day today thus far. Um, it is uh, 10 past two in the afternoon. I've got um, some kind of like spare time, which is really cool. And um, I just want to say how um, it's been a lovely, lovely sunny morning uh, in Fleet. And um, uh, it's really cool went to this uh this place had a lovely breakfast and um i had this this special tea that is um called silver needle tea and um it's meant to be really really good for you and um really enjoyed it it's very nice so i thought hey you know i had this in the cafe with a nice breakfast really good with with my beautiful wife obviously and um and i thought oh, it'd be good to get some so i i asked i asked um the shop assistant where is well actually to be honest i spent 10 minutes trying to find it in the shop and i couldn't find it but then i eventually um swallowed my pride and asked the shop assistant um where you know can you find a silver need to she looked for it couldn't find it went and got a manager and um the manager was like all oh, right and he had a look he's like we don't stock that and he goes that's really strange because we we sell it in the sh we sell it in our cafe but we don't stock it so he went and looked around and i thought oh well you know not gonna have any that's fine don't worry or they ordered some or something he goes oh no i'll tell you what i can i can put some in a sandwich bag for you you know plastic one well, clear i'll get you some some just some leaf on i was like yeah that's brilliant thank you and so i'm expecting okay how much is he going to charge you know silver needle tea quite expensive stuff stuff like that and he um he came back to the till and was like uh ah, there you go and just handed it over to me i was like all right how much he goes oh no 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 don't worry just have it and he gave me like seriously like half a bag full so about 500 600 grams of silver need to and i was like wow that's really generous and it just really um it just made me stop and think for a little bit about that that little small tiny tiny gesture of kindness that that small kind of like act of kind of like goodwill towards me um he didn't have a reason to do it um you know he he didn't and but he chose to and i just thought wow how cool is that and for me it really really is uh i'm 34 years old um i've been a christian from ever since i can remember and um I've always, it's always, you know, I've, I love being a Christian and I love Jesus with all my heart. You know, that's why I do my job. And, um, I really, really do. And it's really hard to explain sometimes the, uh, how, how do you keep being a Christian all your life? How do you keep being a disciple of Jesus? And for me, it's like this whole thing of the word disciple is learner. You keep learning. You don't ever stop. And um, a big thing for me as well is being obedient in the little things. And that, for me, the little things in life are actually so important. And so for me, one of the big things, I don't I don't believe that um, I have to live a certain way. It's not like I'm, people say, oh, you're a religious person. It's like, no, I'm not actually. I'm not at all. I'm a totally relational person. And for me, having a relationship with God enables me to have the ultimate freedom in life, which is amazing. Um, and I, I love it. It's absolutely brilliant because um, having that freedom to uh, know, actually, you know, I know God personally. <laughs> I can go to him with all my worries, all my troubles. And trust me, life, life can bring lots of, lots and lots of hardships. Um, this last year has been absolutely crazy for my wife and I, um, through hardships, uh, through health issues, through loads of stuff. And um, it's amazing how you can keep going. And for me, one of the major factors of the way I've managed to keep going is that I've been able to go to God with all of my problems, all of my worries, all of my thoughts, all of everything, and um, go to him with that, which is really cool. And so um, for me, the little things those little things so today i want to try and kind of like how you put it i want to do those little things really well you know what i mean i want to uh, whatever it is you know it is what what 
to the young people, what is it that your parents nag you about, your mum or your dad? You know, what is that little thing that, you know, they keep on about? What is that tiny thing, you know, tidy your room, whatever it is? Can you try and make it a little bit better for them? Why? Well, because it spreads so much good kind of like feelings and greatness about it. And for me, little kind act can make a major difference. So little things you can be good in, go for it. And the big things will sort themselves out, which is really cool. So really, really cool. Uh, Bible passage for that, you know, really simple one. What Jesus said, do to others as you want to be done to yourself. Treat others how you want to be treated. And honestly, guys, that is like such a good thing to do. Treat other people how you would like. And not maybe even what you would like, but how you would love to be treated. You know what I mean? I got treated really well by this guy. You know, I felt special because he gave me free tea. <laughs> but it really meant a lot to me and it spoke. And I was like, you know what? That's really cool. How can we treat others? How can we love people as we want to be loved ourselves? Which is really cool. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to be trying to do these vlogs um, regularly, uh, at least weekly. And um, if you like what you hear, brilliant and stuff like that um just subscribe and i will update regularly thank you very much for listening and um if you're around in fleet tonight and you're between the ages or for year nine to year 11 in school years so that's 14 to 16 i do a thing called rooted and we're going through the alpha course and they got some new alpha youth videos which are really really funny and great and obviously with anything that I do, I try to provide free food. So there is free pizzas as well, which is going to be lovely. Free pizzas, hot chocolate, and we watch Alpha. It's about 20 minutes, and it has three kind of questions that go like in between it, and we stop and pause and chat about them and stuff. And it's really cool. There's a bunch of guys really enjoy it. And um, when I say guys, I mean girls and boys. But um, a bunch of us young people and... Um, and it's really good fun. Come along. Church on the Heath is opposite Morrison's in um, on Eltham Heath. It's that big building there. And um, come along, check out the upper room and um, have fun. Cheers, guys. Thank you for listening. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, if there's any kind of like uh, questions or anything, if you're like seriously exploring or thinking about you know who is this jesus guy